got to come here, and it'll give you an advantage over everybody else. Okay. Here's the advantage. Typical hurdling, the trail leg pushes off, lags for a, for a millisecond, and then whips to the front. Okay. And while it's lagging, the lead leg is kind of hanging. Make sense? Because the legs aren't connected. What one does, the other does. So what I figured out, and what you are in the process of figuring out through our instruction, is that when you don't kick out the lead leg, but instead drive the knee up, okay, now this leg, the second leg, can come right behind it. So instead of being mm, pushing off and then lagging and then whipping, now it can go straight to the front and it pushes off. And so you got the first leg coming and cycling over the hurdle, Second leg comes right behind and the cycles right over the, over, over the hurdle. Boom! Okay? And then that boom, boom! And that second boom, boom! You're going forward. Okay? It, it, you will feel like you're being pushed from behind. Okay? You can do it right. Now, in this particular drill, I know I thought I flung a lot of drill once, but I only got two days. <laughs> so, in this particular drill, you will not try to speed up, you will be sped up by the forward push that you create every time you clear a hurdle. Look at her upper body posture. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Oh, good. There she is.